hope you're all good. What a very, very long day I've had, and um, I am tired. However, I wanted to just give you this um, quick announcement, or pre pre um, you listening to the rest of the podcast. So the intention or the topic of the podcast for today or episode for today is not what I ended up recording. I started out that way, but then the subject kind of went into a whole other different um, journey. And by the end, I was like, okay, I have over an hour here of me talking about this, that, and everything. Do I just delete it? So I actually re-listened to it in my connecting, well, I was Houston, connected via Houston. And I thought, okay, um, I think I'll leave it because even though it's a long um, sort of talk or conversation, it takes you into a little bit of my mindset. It takes you a little bit into why certain things. And I also discuss some issues here or there and bring in also some personal examples. And I thought, instead of deleting it, because that also talks to the big problem, well, what I see as a problem, of consistency um, of, of the channel, right? And uploading um, uh, an episode of every day or, or as soon as I can. So I just, I wasn't able to upload the stuff or anything like that all day today. Um, I just got home and um, I was flying all day <laughs> and then got into Houston. I had an hour and a half to connect and um, half of that hour and a half to connect was me listening to what I had re- um, recorded. And I'm finally home. So I, I'm just doing this pre-announcement. Uh, I'm just going to add it on to what I already have. And I will upload it. So I just wanted to say that to you folks. You can listen to the whole thing. And um, in the background while you do other stuff. Or listen to it. It's all in your hands. Okay. But just wanted to let you know that. Thank you so much. Love you folks. And um, until we speak again. Hello beautiful people. Wherever you are. Whatever time you're listening or watching. Um, this podcast. Welcome to Majesty Sussex Report and I'm Antonio. I am still in wonderful Guatemala and um, heading a mi casa very soon. Um, I will likely maybe, depending on how things um, get completed, I may actually have to finish some of this in um, transit um, through connecting airports. And I will hopefully not have to do that and get everything done anyways no need to to be talking out loud what my mind is thinking also um thank you for being here i thank you for your continued support for suggestions comments likes all of that that makes this little train channel continue to move forward and um continue to be discovered by um, people here, there, and everywhere. I truly and honestly um, appreciate it and will always be appreciative. And in that appreciation and respect that I have for all of you, I I had got a suggestion a little while ago where um, one of you folks was just saying, listen, you know, I'm, I'm, I am paraphrasing, but also I am, I'm adding here a bit of the sentiment, right? Um, you're not growing more, or, or, or some people have kind of stopped um, coming to the channel because there isn't consistency in it. And I, 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 I appreciate the comment, and I agree with you 100%. I've talked about consistency before, and I... Um, I'm trying to get to a place where that is existent for this podcast. So you kind of know 
um, every other day at 6 p.m. Eastern I, um, or, you know, once a week or whatever it is. Um, because I think besides the whole recommendations and what we know in regards to human behavior and, and, and expectations and so on, I, I, I think I, I want to create that sort of schedule because then it, it creates also a switch in my head to, to sort of work towards that. I mean, I've been the last two weeks or so, you know, I've been trying to do certain things a certain way just to start to get myself into a um, comfortable place and be more um, consistent. Now, one may ask and say, well, well, why the inconsistency? Um, at, at work, because this, this is, I do this on the side, um, my, my work was just extremely demanding and it had gotten really bad at, at, at work in regards to my time that I actually had to take some time off for my mental health and for my physical health also, because it had gotten to a really, a really bad place. Uh, so I, then when I returned back to work, I made the decision to sort of create boundaries in regards to my time, projects that would be assigned to me, uh, so on. That worked for about maybe three weeks. After that, it just went back to a very familiar um, experience. And I was really sort of struggling because, you know, work is work, work pays my bills. Um, and there's this podcast that I love to do, right? It's, it's, it, I, I love making sure that it's being delivered to you with the quality, um, my standards, and it's being delivered a certain way uh, with, with a certain voice. So I would have, um, sorry, I was going to skip and go to an another thing, which I tend to do, which is not very good. But with that said, um, and it's standards that I have and the knowledge that I have presently. As time goes on, I, you know, one standards get even better because now you know how to use the graphic this or you're, you're using different types of designs that may reflect now a new way of thinking and so on. So I always want what I present to you, it be a reflection also in many ways of me, right? And when it's not up to that kind of quality that I expect presently, uh, I just delete. And that is something that I've done. I've done an entire podcast where I've spoken and done, done stuff for like an hour and a half. And then I'll, I'll sort of review it and something will not sit right with me. And I usually will walk away from it for an hour or so and then come back to it. And if it's still feeling that way, then I'm like, then there is something, there, there is a message here not to, and then I'll just delete and, and let it go. So that is one, one thing for the, in regards to the inconsistency that it's not been consistent every day or, or you know, a, a certain day of the week and a certain time. The next thing also is, is, is I have I have issues that sort of happen at one point. Uh, this, these are technical issues, so I'll 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 have my topic already researched, and then I'll think, okay, so I've already researched this. I have the information. Do I need to create a complete script for it, or can I just talk about it? And I used to just have um, sort of bullet points 
and make sure I, you know, speak about each one as I as I uh, would talk to that specific topic. Now I have found that I need to have it a little bit more scripted because if I don't, I will speak literally for three hours. And the reason why I will speak for three to four hours is because I, I will say I'll start out at point A. And before finishing point A, there's another idea related to that subject and uh, it will catch it, it will catch my eyes like 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 a disco ball. And I'm like, okay, I'm off now talking about C. Right? I'm I'm like <laughs> I'm like a dog. Squirrel! <laughs> I look that from that movie, I think what was it called? The movie was called Up, I think. Oh, that movie, that movie made me so sad. Um because at the same time, this is the movie I'm talking about. Now you see, you see, I'm doing it now. <laughs> no, okay. This is not a review of the movie. Um, stick to topic. Stick to topic. So I am. I I get. I get like that, right? So the other thing is, I I, I put trust in my technology. So I'll be uploading. X, Y, or Z, uploading the podcast, and let's say I made an announcement, and I said, okay, um, today at 6 p.m. Eastern, you know, there'll be an upload on blah, 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 blah topic. And at 5, when I finally finish, or 5.30 when I finish, I'm uploading all this stuff, and then something will go wrong. Either the laptop will crash, or it only uploads a certain amount of the uh, video, or then I realized that the information that I had, um, that now I'm, I'm bringing to you folks, has changed. Meaning, for one reason or another, the story now doesn't completely, I'm not going to say it doesn't make sense, but, but it doesn't, it's not en courant, it's not, it's not, um, it's not, it's not current. Um, and in that case now, I've made an announcement, I'm thinking, do I upload this or not upload? Up, upload this and it's like okay oh man I'm just gonna not upload it. so they did and in regards to my work I always wanted to have something out there for you folks and because of the time, time the, the demands that my work was putting on me I found that I was spending like I'll get home and I'll grab something quick to eat and then I'll start working on the podcast and I was up sometimes at three, four a.m. in the morning trying to fin trying to finish it because each page, each slide for my podcast is uh, you know, it's, and I've said this before, images that I have to find or source, and then I, I I I do whatever I need to do to that image in order for it to fit into you know the story I'm trying to tell or or whatever. So each slide can take quite a while. And then I and then I review everything that, that I've done. And in the review, I'll find other things that I was like, okay, this doesn't seem right here. Let's move it over there. Oh, you know what? Now I need to make a better slide for this. So it's this continuous kind of review thing. And so there, there is a process that I go through that I'm starting to think I need to find a way to make it easier. Um, and, and a process of, uh, 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 of of my own personal standards and um, demands. I was I was with a friend of mine, and he said to me because uh, I was you know in between us chatting, I was working on the podcast, and he said, which I know was rude, but I told him ahead of time I would be doing this, and he was like, okay, cool. And at the end, though, at the end of it, he said. You know, you're doing a, you're like, you like you, 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 the images and stuff. You're like, you, you're doing a lot. He goes, "Are you? Should you be doing that much in regards to, in regards to the look of your podcast, or can you just, you know, use some images, a couple, and just use those six images, and just do the talking? Like, 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 I, you know, he, he said, I, I, I don't think people are gonna." Um, might be extremely concerned. Uh, and, and my whole thing with that, I said to him, I said, yes, I possibly can, but I don't know. 
and I'm not live, right? I said if it was a live podcast, I think, and people listening live, and 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 there 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 is there's a there's a there's an atmosphere there, um, of interactive experience. With a video, I feel like you need to capture not only you know the the attention of your subscribers or potential subscribers, but you graphically need to be also pleasing and 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 beautify. You see how long I, I go on forever with one damn topic. Gee, okay, let me just like bring this back and just shorten all of this and just say close it, close it at, at this point. I'm working on it. That's the bottom line. I'm working on it where I, I am, where I will feel comfortable being active and in service of what we are trying to do. So... Yes, true. Um, may not post something every day. Um, or I may just have, let's say, a short story or a short or something one day. So it's quick. You know, I, can, I need to spend 10 minutes on it. And then a more 30 to 45 minute podcast the following day. So alternate. And maybe there there is a day or whatever where I just do something else, right? Like, for example, the the playlist, the music playlist. So I make playlists for myself, um, not every week, uh, but I used to do them every week. So I make a playlist and I listen to those, especially if also I'm working on a particular project and I need inspiration for that project. I sort of pick songs that are gonna make me be inspired. Or if I'm in a certain mood and that mood is motivating. Like sometimes I'll be so sad, right? I feel kind of sad. I feel kind of like, oh, life sucks, blah, blah, blah. You know, that feeling like, and like you're sort of a wet puppy. Even though wet puppies are kind of cute. Uh, so I, I will... I'll, I'll, I'll add like really sad songs to my playlist, but also I'll add like these really great vocal, amazing songs um, with, 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 with big divas and, or like, you know, very inspirational crescendo kind of music that, 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 that you feel you're in some important cinematography and epic take in the music, boom, 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 right? And so I, I, I do that, that's just normally. And I did it as a test. I said, you know what? I wonder, if, I wonder if, like, the people <laughs> will, will, would, 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 would enjoy this, right? Because also, the music that I listen to is is cross generational. It's it's um, multicultural because I'm, that's a, I'm interested in that kind of music and sounds. I'm interested in in beats that that make me feel something, um, and I I just kind of did it right. I did it, and there was a little bit of a conversation that that happened for our members. Um, of Majesty's Sussex Report that got that play playlist. And based on members' sort of reaction, I went, okay, I think I may have something here. Let's do it, right? So we'll do it and see how it will continue to be received. And then we'll, 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 um, we'll have it. And put in, since I'm putting the list together for myself, anyways, I, you know I'm sharing it with you folks, and sometimes I add a couple more songs. Um, and the same thing with the um, meditation, right? Meditation, mindful meditation came out of, and is that not looking for 
content or lack of content. Mindful meditation came out of, I realized how stressed out I would get with this level of misinformation and the sort of targeted hate towards Megan. And look, I, I don't know Megan. I don't know Prince Harry. I, I don't know these people. But based on the experiences I see them having, they're very identifiable to me because there's so many experiences that I can relate to. I'm a, I'm a person who's made up of many cultures, right? And I've spoken about this before. And when make you know, we say, oh, you're biracial, you're multicultural, this or that, whatever label we want to slap on it. And I'm in these spaces where my identity is often questioned or um, is up for, for, for discussion or I am admitted into one but refused into the other. And these topics sometimes, even when I've talked about colorism, because I've, 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 it's, it's driven me to tears. Um, and it drives me to tears because it's a pain that I feel because it's a pain that I experience. It's a lived experience and continue to be a lived experience when I experience racism. It's, 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 it's a thing when I try then to talk about the racism that has been thrown at me and told to shut up and take a seat that I'm not black enough to talk about my racism that has been thrown at me. That my experience all of a sudden is deluded because I'm not black enough. And I've sat there many times when that has been said to me, because it's been said to me more than once, where I'm like, are you, are you effing kidding me right now? Right, because I am going through my process of pro processing that hurt and that pain. But then I have someone who is in my own telling me that, listen, shut up. If, if, if I'm in a group, and, and sorry, I didn't mean, no, mean to make a sense. If I'm in any group, and we're talking about racism, if my Chinese brother stands up and say, I want to, here's my experience, let him speak. If my Indian sister gets up and says, I want to talk about racism, let her speak. If my mulatto um, 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 brother wants to stand up and speak, about their, let them speak. If my black sister wants to stand up and speak, let her speak. When my black brother wants to stand up and speak, let him speak. And let's stop comparing who has it the worst. We all can recognize that we navigate this world differently. Even people in the same family. Listen, my life experience is very different than my brother's. Very different. I carry myself differently. I see myself differently in the world. So there are certain attributes that I have that not, makes me navigate the world that way. That's just my mentality, my way of being. Right? I'll, let me give you this, 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 this a really silly example. My, my brother, I'm going to tell you which one, but my, my brother loves to, especially in the summer, drive, windows down, and the music to its highest possible volume without getting stopped by cops. Me? I don't understand that. Don't understand it. Don't get it. But that, but that is him. I, 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 don't, I don't need to get it. That, that, that's what brings him joy. Now, me driving in the summer, 
windows up, air conditioner on, and music that I can sing along to. <laughs> and no one needs to hear. <laughs> right? But why should I say, or why should we say, oh, no, 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 no. The ones with the windows down, your, your pain we understand better. So you speak. I get it. I know it's two different things. I understand colorism. I know colorism. I know that 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 that, that law enforcement and authorities and all that, you know, may see us differently and do they do see us differently. And I spoke about this before. So please don't come, please don't come at me with any anything about but this is a, I get it. I walk in that path. I get it. I'm getting kind of emotional about this, which is kind of surprising me. And I, I, I'm trying as I'm, I'm, I'm talking about this, trying to understand also to say, oh, I know why now. I know. Sorry. <laughs> it's amazing how your brain kind of goes and it connects things. I, I, I know why. I, I had a, I had a really, uh, oh shoot. I don't know if I wanted. Oh, I started already. I, 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 I had a very heated debate with my cousin who I love, 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 love. And we were talking about my cousin's son. And it, it got very interesting to debate. Because it's not that 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 we disagreed at some really you know higher or lower level or 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 anything like that right my 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 cousin is is a lot darker my cousin is is a um for any um sense and purposes um dark dark skin black and her son is more brown skin right Sort of like even, I would say, my skin color. And so we're having certain discussions. And, and she, she, she couldn't, um, I don't want to say she couldn't, because of course she can. But I, okay, let me phrase it this way. I wasn't being successful at... Um, convincing her of my of of the viewpoint that I was trying to deliver so I wasn't successful at delivering the viewpoint that I was trying to deliver and at some point of that conversation she was taking it into a place that I never meant it to go or at all saw it going there and I had to stop. I said, listen, I'm going to stop our conversation. I think communication is the greatest thing. I do want us to revisit this. I said, but the, the last thing she just said is taking us into a place that I can see there's pain and hurt. And this conversation just really started out innocently. I would like us to stop if, if you're okay with that. And... Let's revisit it again. I said, because it's a very interesting topic, point of view. And right now we just find ourselves looking at this particular part very differently. You know, I say, you know how much I love you. And she's like, well, you know, you're my favorite. <laughs> and I was like, well, you're my favorite too. <laughs> so, um, and then she's like, no, I'm not your favorite. I know that other cousin is your favorite too, because you talk to her all the time. And I was like, yeah, because she calls me. <laughs> you, you, only, you only call me sometimes. <laughs> um, anyways, I bring... Okay, let me bring this all back again <laughs> to having the podcast and doing different things, uh, bringing different content. So, music list, and then also doing mindful meditation, right? I found that I was getting very stressed out wit and the 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 everyday constant lying visceral vi, 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 
Oh, you folks know what, know what I mean. Um, that was being thrown and and printed and 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 these TV shows, and it was just constant. And because there is certain identifiability with that person, it almost started to feel, not almost, it felt very personal. They weren't attacking me personally, but they were attacking me. Because the attacks on Megan are at the attacks on every single person of color. Right? This whole thing that, oh, well, well, she got money. I don't need to like say anything. Oh, well, they're rich. No, no, no. This is, and this is the thing that peed me off when we talked about mental health. When people say, oh, well, what do you have to complain about? You live in a mansion. You don't have to worry about where your next meal is coming from. You have 10 servants. Mental health does not care about that. Mental health does not concern itself with whether you live in a mansion or you live in a cardboard house next to the highway. Mental health does not care if you have a hundred million pounds or dollars in the in your bank account or you've got twenty five cents. It does not care. It will show up and it will mess you up because we all have internal storylines, messages, the way we were brought up, the things we were told, information that we're receiving via 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 our text, via um, the news, via shows we watch, um, papers we read, magazines, the people on the street, the people we interact with at work, the people we befriend at work, uh, our families consistently. And our brain, our mind has to cope with all of that. Some people to less degrees, right? But our brain has to cope with it. And it's like mental health, you know, it's like these highway that we have in, in, in our brain patterns and, and the way information is being flown uh, uh, around. And, and all of a sudden the highway, right? where esteem, self-esteem is built or, or transmitted from A to B, guess what? That, that, that road is closed. That road is closed, closed, closed. You don't know what's going on. I could have a million, a hundred million pounds. But my self-esteem road is closed. I loathe myself. I think I'm stupid. I think I'm an idiot. I think I'm the ugliest person. No matter what. I think, look, 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 look at the riches I've, I have. I shouldn't feel this way. And one day I do something stupid. Right? So, so, so mental health is important. And I found that the consistency in which the British media kept putting out these things about Megan especially as first part of the community right and when our wonderful hosts of the podcast that are daily and, and live and, and it brings us this information and we're able to kind of get some of it out of our system by conversing through the comments or in the live chat we're able to get some of that anger out but also we're able to meet in community and support each other and say yeah we know how stupid they are we know that the purpose that they're doing this is for that but we also have people like baron and ann and 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 all these other folks 
that also have receipts and will say, yeah. Two months ago, they were saying this. Here's the receipt. No, this week they're saying this. Lies. Here is a comparison about what they did for this person versus what they're saying about the Duchess. Here's the hypocrisy. <clears throat> so they lay it us. Lay, so they lay it out for us. So in community, we're able to kind of, you know, open back again. That <laughs> I'm using the 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 the, the um, road of self esteem here, that highway pattern road, imaginary, and we're able to kind of okay okay okay, we we can open that road a little bit and. It's uh, we're gonna make it a one-way street now. So just because we're in community, we're able to discuss, we're able to talk, and our wonderful hosts uh, for different podcasts are able to then bring receipts and and expand. And then I found myself being part of which, which I love, being part of the community where I was able to just comment and. And, and and do all that. But then when I would walk away, I still felt heavy. I felt like it wasn't enough. I did not do enough. One of the big mistakes I did, though, <laughs> I'll say because as as a teacher, because I think, you know, I, I, um, I, once a teacher, always a teacher, if, if, if you've got teaching in your heart and in your soul. Because I know teachers that have that kind of teaching in their heart and soul, and some that should not, should have never been teachers. Um, I wanted to educate, and 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 you know, I started to go on these sites that were having all these hateful things. I was so naive, um, and being like, maybe they don't know about this, and I'd be like, hey, you guys are wrong. <laughs> Here's the evidence. Here's what, here's some receipts. And I'm thinking, oh, they're going to see it. And they're going to be like, okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Folks laugh with me. Because <laughs> it is funny. It is, it is funny. <laughs> you realize, oh, man. <laughs> you start to get all these hateful comments back. And you think, just be asking, what? Why are you calling me that? You don't even know me. <laughs> and I, yeah. So then I thought, you know what? I I have something to say. So I'm going. I'm going to kind of op- do. I had plans, and I'm going to do a channel. Is what it's going to be like. And I love Majesty Sussex Report. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, I love do what I'm doing. But I also, I shouldn't use the word but, because that means I'm creating created <laughs> comparison. I, I just to say, additionally, I don't want to be repeating the same things you folks already heard from three, four, five other podcasters that day. And my argument sometimes used to be, well, we bring different sides of that same story, which is, yes, bravo, right? But also, we may bring our own different life experience to that story. And that is good. So in my mind, I also thought, well, if I'm going to do that, right, let's find a creative way to do it, right? Let's let's create a certain silhouette, right, to um, the to the um, podcast. Let's look and see how we can create a certain type of graphics that are aesthetically. I don't want to say pleasing to everyone, but sort of within that brand that I'm trying to do. And at the very beginning, I I also kind of based a lot, because I I would say more consistently, 
please let me know what you think. Give me your feedback. Tell me what you want, what you don't want, what you like, what you don't like. And I think sometimes that that becomes annoying, right? Because people may think then you're going to create things that we want to hear and you're not being authentic. Let me make this clear. Whatever I do, I will always do it in the most authentic way, in my style or the way in which I'll see it. So, you know, I could say, do you tell me what are the things that you may find interesting to do or you'd like to see us do on the channel? And you may say, um, I would like you to highlight uh, churches around the world. And then, you know, I may ask follow-up questions, like, what do you mean by that? When you say highlight churches around the world, do you mean just showing the church, like an image, a video, the architecture of it, who designed it, that sort of thing? Or do you mean it more in a um, educational, uh, religious way in which we highlight one of the oldest churches, maybe in Armenia. And I think Armenia is one of the first nations or uh, uh, as a people who who, who accepted Christianity. Um, I don't want to get that wrong. So I think, I think that's what it is. I'm saying I think. Um, so don't, don't come for me. Uh, so that, that was sort of like the, the, the input I was sort of looking for, and I, I came to realize that the community, you know, people don't really want you to like, so should I do this, should I do that, should I do this? They're like, just do it, <laughs> right? Just do your damn thing, do it. <laughs> and we will, we will either like it or not like it. And there's some things I tried out and I was like, well, that bombed. <laughs> hard and there are some other things that i was like oh this got a really good response um okay this this is good i'll, I'll incorporate this in, into stuff but you'll never see me do things like if someone said can we talk about i don't know what's a topic i don't like <laughs> uh i don't know any any anything right that's i don't know um and even though I may find the topic interesting. I, 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 I'll know. I can't, I can't do that in, in a very authentic way. Like, I don't know how, what of me I can bring to this particular thing. Right? So, um, that's, that's, that's why. So, also bringing it back, bringing it back, bringing it back. I have tried out different things and introduced certain things to see the response. And if it's not, then I'll just pull it. I've also kind of done uh, uh, the, uh, how I deliver each episode a little bit differently and see how the response is for that. And then try, try another one, another kind of setup and, and see what that response is. So that this is part of all of what I wanted to say behind the curtain or in my cabeza, in my, in my head, um, has been happening. The other thing, too, that I found useful is many times, the, again, the, the teacher in me uh, is always curious, always wants to know, and once I find out, right, I don't want to keep the information. If it's relevant to us, I want to bring it to the community and explain it. Or if an issue is happening within our, um, our, 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 within the, oh, I can't even the word, within the royal family, and that, that, may or may not affect um, Prince Harry and Meghan. You know, I, I, I will just look at that thing just from that issue in particular. 
So it will be issue based. Like for example, when we have these, um, I, I sometimes I try to be nice, right? And I want to be mindful of the words I say and how, and not bring in certain things. But sometimes I just want to say these crazy ASS B word and some other things. I say it in my head <laughs> because. <laughs> Envious, hateful people, you know, the Rangers. For a, for a while, I, I I I was like, no, I'm not gonna call anybody the Rangers. I'm just going to like, you know, say, well, you know, the people who disagree or the people who don't have correct information. Oh, screw it! You know, take a screw and screw it. The Rangers. Crazy bats. Um, <laughs> I I just, you know, in all of that, I'm putting all that kind of steam, that pressure, under that, under that, blah, 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 blah. Um, because it's a, it's a type of person I am and the type of lifestyle um, I try to live, you know. So I was like, I don't want to bring those kind of words into my space. I want us to be a little more neutral, but you know what, folks? It's been pro proven that that has to, that went out the door a little while, but it doesn't mean the structure and the essence and the authenticity of what I bring you and who I am is is gone. No, no, or not there. It is it is there, and it will continue to be there. In my rants, like this one right now, um, it may actually. Um, come out even more so, right? Because it's not a, it's not a structured, it's, it's a rant. Like this was supposed to be structured. And I do have something structured. I'm looking at it right now, but I started talking, I couldn't stop. And I, I'm still talking about this. Um, so I think the entire podcast is gonna be about this. So the, yes. Yeah, so I introduce mindful meditation and listen folks. And this now is a command. This is this is a command from the highest post of the kingdom of Sussex. <laughs> no, Sussex. <laughs> Crazy. No, the house of Sussex, ladies and gentlemen. Hey he, hey he. Announcement from the house of Sussex. Every subscriber. Taller and short, mature or not, must attend. <laughs> so you don't have to. But I kept thinking the other day, I was like, you know, it'd be nice if, like, the subscribers, like, everyone, like, they just, like, just, just show up and do the mindful meditation. Because I'll, I'll tell you why. I think some people are able to not categorize, um, compart compart compartmentalize things. And that's great, right? But you're just putting it in a file, right? And and you and then you're you you shutting that shutting that file. Still there. Mindful meditation and the purpose of it is to this is my sales pitch now. Um, <laughs> is to Kind of just find a moment in your day where it's just for you, right? Just for you. And for people who are like, "Oh, I don't do this. I don't do that. Crap. I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's yeah. We, I don't. Yeah, I don't need it. No, thank you. Mm -mm. Right? We all need time to ourselves. And. Today, more than ever, I think, we just need to find the time and the moment to just sit, to let our, our bodies rest, and just listen to some affirmations, right? That 
that we understand there's anxiety, there there is there's stress, there is there's all these things the media is telling us every day in order for you to find happiness, you need to buy this cream. It's it's four hundred and ninety nine dollars. This cream will make you happy. Four hundred and ninety nine dollars. Right? The mansion of the happy and the rich. Only in bum 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 bum. Oh, okay, well I guess I should buy a mansion and a this and then I'll be happy. No, 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 no to all of that. No. We neglect our patterns of thinking. We neglect the way we think. And ever so often we just need a reminder. Also, we have history that's in our DNA that's been passed down to us unconsciously. Well, unconsciously, it's in our damn DNA. We've got historic trauma that's been passed down to us. And then the ones we start to accumulate from birth. Look, I'm not trying to preach to you and say, come to mindful meditation. What I'm trying to say, find, a, find moments where you can just do something that is going to be for you. And perhaps mindful meditation may just take you there for, for, for 30 minutes, for, for 45 minutes. Even if you just put it on before you go to sleep, do it. Honestly, do it. Because I, I, I would really like to see more of us, right, listening to and watching the Mindful Meditation podcast. You know, I, I try too many times, you know, pick a different kind of thing to concentrate on um, for every episode. And sometimes I, I come back to a topic again, right? Because either uh, I, I think I've found some more stuff to say about it, right? And it's, it's just a reminder. It honestly is. Right? There's so much that we already know. Joan Garcia had 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 had, mess, had messaged me and Joan, I, I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um and in the correspondence she 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 reminded me about a couple of things and I went, Oh yeah, that's true. That's true, that's true, that's true. Because I was so in the storm of it all as to what was happening, and this has to do with my work, that I was just going, what, what, what are they doing? Like, why me? Like, I'm a good person. Like, why? What? I don't, and, and it just, I, I just got, like, I literally got lost, <laughs> I think, because I couldn't understand why they, they would do this to 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 anyone right and the blatant lies and 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 gaslighting and stuff i was like i don't understand <laughs> you know you know when i say i don't understand i just don't get it i i, I was like that and i just really confused trying to find answers right and going to the wrong people to find answers and john garcia I, I, you know, sent me this 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 message, and, and and as I was reading it, I went, "Oh shoot, yeah, that's true." I said, "That's so true, Joan. That's so true." And I was like, "Okay, center yourself, Antonio. Center yourself." So, I think it'd be useful. So that that that's that's my infomercial for uh, my full meditation. So what I've tried to do is to bring in. A certain level of variety because we are all multifaceted people we have different interests right so I wanted to be a channel where you can show up to and you know that on Sundays or on a Monday there's mindful meditation for like 48 minutes or for, for, for an hour or so and that's something you can count on right that Friday 
by 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, Majesty Sussex Report is going to come out with its, you know, playlist for the, for the week. Excuse me, for the weekend or for the week or what or whatever. I want that to be something you can depend on, right? And be like, okay, this is going to happen. I want to um, have uh, comments, comments Fridays or comment Mondays or something, where I look back at the comments of the week and pick a few of them, and we we sort of have a discussion, right? And then on one day, it's just, you know, bringing in what's happening in the world family. And, and, and we have, of course, at any day, any time, when news is happening um, that is important and, uh, for, 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 for me to bring to you that I will bring, bring, bring to you. But at least for you to have some consistency in knowing that it's not, you know, you see the notification and Monday at 4 a.m. in the morning, um, oh, Majesty Sussex Report just posted something or uploaded something. Then you get a notification. Oh, Majesty Sussex Report just posted something at 1 p.m. Eastern on the Friday, but we didn't hear anything Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Right, so... That's my intention, folks. Um, someone, and I know I'm going to get this wrong again. Those of you who've been been around for a long time, you know me and sayings, right? I, I, I know all of them, but I never delivered them right. And the saying about good intentions are, you know, there's something to, to huh? There's something to, I don't want to say the word. H E L L, and and I don't mind saying it. I just don't want to say it because I don't know whether you can say it on YouTube or not. I don't have all these rules about the words and stuff. Anyways, so the something. No, H E L L is paved by good intentions. Is that it? Or the pathway to H E L L is paved by good intentions. Something like that. Okay, en enough. G. Uh, so, as the saying goes, right, stop talking about it and just do it. And, and when we see the consistency or we know this is what's happening, we're able to organize, schedule, and know when we need to show up for Majesty Sussex Report. And, okay. Do, 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 boom. I'm sort of locking in that emotion there. Because <laughs> um, uh, the minute I start talking about you folks and I start talking about your support and your kindness and the way you've made me feel, I get very emotional. And, you know, you, you know, part of what causes that emotion, and there's a larger other part from where you know, you talk to your therapist about, <laughs> you don't bring it to your community yet. Um, but that is why I, there's things I do and I say in my podcast that are very personal to me. When I say we need to talk to our children a certain way, we need to speak to our children a certain way. We need to give them encouragement. We need to tell them they're beautiful. We need to tell them they're valued. We need to tell them how great they are. Because the world, every single second, is telling them they're not. Every single second. Everything they deal with in the world tells them they are not. And you may think, oh, oh well, my kids don't have a phone. Oh, well, they don't do... Um, social media. Oh, they only watch, you know, an hour of TV. Please listen to me. The world tells our children every single second of the day 
they are not worthy and they're not good enough. Now, the world was constructed for a certain type. This is where race comes into this discussion, right? So they don't get those messages. They get it differently. But also, right, they get, they, they, there's, there's certain messages, the same conversation that many people have said, I need to have a conversation with my son, my daughter about if they're stopped at night and in the car, oh, freak, forget night, anytime. If you're stopped at any time and, 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 a, and a cop, police person uh, approaches you, make sure your hand is over here, make sure you do this, make sure you do that, make sure you do that. Here, here are the 185 rules to follow in case you're colored or black or um, um, African American, anyway, that there, there's, there, there's pigmentation in your damn skin that if you are stopped by a cop or any person in authority, this is the way you behave. This is the way you behave. I would like to know how many white kids received that 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 talk. Just asking for a friend. I'll tell you, I never received that talk. Formerly, I never received it, but I sat in rooms. As I said before, my parents, it was one of the beautiful things they did for us. They never pushed us away from, a, from adult conversations. They never said, hey kids, go in the kitchen or go to your rooms and whatever. Adults said, no, no, no. If we were in the room, we heard the conversation. I would see my aunt get pissed off and angry. I see my uncle trying to like make sense of something that did not make any sense. I hear my other uncle say, well, you should have just done this or that. You know, you're the one who's the problem. And then, you know, everyone points fingers within. And I'm thinking, well, as a kid, I didn't think it that time, but Today I, I think and I and I say, oh, I see, I see what so cleverly they've done. Because the goalposts will always change, always change, always, 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 always. So it doesn't matter if you 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 were dressed up in your Sunday best, your Sunday best. Your breath smelled like mint. You're wearing a Rolex watch, not the fake ones. Maybe you inherited it or something, I don't know. Maybe you're a banker, maybe you're an investor, maybe you, 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 you earned that, maybe it was a gift that your family saved up to give you. It doesn't matter. I don't care how many damn creams you buy to whiten your skin, skin your skin. Your, <laughs> Oh, and I've got stories on white whitening creams too, man. Gee. Ah, oh, some of the things. Right? So I wanted to bring in part of that environment and talk about certain things on a topic base. And bring that to us and deliver it in, I don't want to say an academic kind of way because I'm not trying to deliver it in an academic way, but I'm trying to deliver it in a way that 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 um, raises our consciousness, because our consciousness is already alive and well. But I've always argued that additional information are more tools in our toolbox. It's more evidence, and the more you have, the less power they have to deny you. So that's what I've, I've been trying to do. And I think sometimes I've succeeded and sometimes I haven't. I also have tried to kind of make sure that I stay within 60 minutes. And sometimes things just really go over. 
and I don't realize that it's actually going over. Uh, because once I do editing and taking stuff out and taking away, you know, st 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 stammering when it happens and then trying to record that, that, that sentence again, um, without the stammering, um, or there's been times where I've just gotten so emotional and I listen back to the podcast and say, like, I can't public, I can't, I can't publish this, right? Because it's not that I'm afraid that you will call me a fool or you will say, oh, this guy is so emotional or everything. Like, get a backbone, dude. I'm not afraid of that, right? I'm afraid, man, I don't know if the word is afraid. I'm conscious as to what happens to your voice once you have gifted it to the internet. There was an artist that said, after I finish my record, I've written all these songs, I've put them together, uh, same thing with, with, for example, writers, too. And then I put it out there for the world to judge it. And I've been working with these, this, this tune, this song, this music, these lyrics, this storyline, maybe for a year, maybe for two. It's my baby. And then people just take that baby and just, you know. And as much as I may think... Certain comments don't get to me. They do. They do get to you, right? And 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 you just have to have, anyways. For me, is to recognize it and say, okay, so that that that's what you think. I don't see you have a channel. I took an initiative. I'm putting work into this. So sometimes I just, I'll work really hard on something and I can't deliver it that in a way that doesn't make me crumble. Because experience says, I'm going back, this is the main thing I, 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 I know. I was going to say the word in Spanish, that I connect that energy force to, that I've said everything that they're throwing at Megan, especially at Megan and Prince Harry, and that they will do to the kids, they're already doing it to all of us. To all of us. That whole thing with the the chimpanzee leaving the hospital, that's not new. It's not new. The fastest way to insult, you know, the fastest way to make you feel a certain way, the fastest way to degrade and to take away any sort of humanity that you may possess You know, it is, some people have, as they say, tough skin, right? Thick skin. I used to say, my mama, <laughs> my mama, my mama's like, what? She said, what? <laughs> I make my mom sound like she's from the hood or something. Not like it's anything bad from being from the hood or whatever we determine a hood is. Um, my mom, as I've said in the past, my mom grew up very poor. Very, very, very poor. And she had to learn to defend herself at a very early age. And then defend her brothers and sisters. Right? She wasn't the oldest, but she became like the oldest because a lot of responsibilities was placed in her. And I think I get some, a lot of my personality. I, got, I, I know some things that I get from my dad, but I know a lot of what I get from my mom. And she, she's very protective of her family. And people say, well, every mother is, right? But I'm talking about, you know, at that time, her siblings and her family. And 
I think she more than the rest of them was very aware that they were poor, that they were vulnerable, that they were seen a certain way, right? And she worked very hard in order to, to, to help her mother, help the family out. And I think my grandmother, God bless her soul, she saw that, and I, I don't want to say that my mom was tough because I think sometimes we become what is needed for us to become, to survive. But she put a lot of, a lot of responsibilities on my mom's young, young shoulders. Right? And, um, mm, 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 mm. <clears throat> I tend to, I don't want to come back to, to it. I, I, I tend to picture to whoever or whatever I'm talking about. I'm speaking to my mom. I just see my mom in front of me. And I love her so much. That's just the thought of anything and uh, the experiences she's gone through. It, it, it just grapples at my heart um so getting back to she's had to become uh, uh, um, 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 tough right she, 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 she's had to have tough skin so some may argue and say if I could look back at at at, at my parents like my my dad, it was sort of more you know a little more, more romantic and a little bit more um emotional side, you know Latin people <laughs> and um and again, I'm generalizing here I'm not I mean all Latin men are emotional people because there's lots of them that are not, but my dad was kind of more that kind of person, you know, like my dad would see I used to see him sometimes he would. You know, be in the living room like on a Sunday, and he'd be listening to some really suave musica, like some really kind of um, uh, no name is coming to my head right now, but uh, like his favorite singer Juan Gabriel, for example, a singer called Juan Gabriel uh, from Mexico, and Juan, Gab Juan Gabriel has some music, some of his lyrics. Oh, baby Jesus, they just target your heart. And I'll see him with his eyes closed and just singing, and I can see the emotion just in just his face, right? It's just, it's just a beautiful image to have of my um, dad. And uh, so I, I get that from him. I know like <laughs> all of that is him. I got that from him. So I used to think, like, I need to have a tougher skin like my mom, right? Comments or things will roll off of me. And I go back to this, this uh, uh, something that happened um, years ago. So I said, my mom is very sort of, you need help? She will, she, 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 she will be right there with you. You just tell her where, when, and she's, 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 she's going at, at it. You say, oh, oh, Elizabeth, you need to put gloves on or do this. And she's like, aha, I don't have time for that. We need to do this. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, let's get this done. Right. She's, she's that kind of person. And there was someone, um, Oh, am I, I'm, I think I'm going to kill him for telling this story. No, I'm, I'm going to just do it. I, I love how I like debate live, like whether or not I want to say something or not. And I think if I decide that in editing, I'll just cut it out. But someone, my mom, especially my mom, because my, my, my dad was sort of like, uh, Elizabeth, don't, don't do this again, you know. He's like, these people don't, blah, 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 blah. And my mom was like, listen, they need help. I'm going to provide that. So she did a lot of stuff. Um, and the extent of, of um, you know, it was, was over a year. And had a lot to do, put in a lot of work. You know, had to sleep besides, all this kind of stuff. You can just imagine. And... It was my mom's birthday and I didn't think anything about it. You know, we had 
normal birthday celebration. I, I was I was, I was young. I was, a, I was a teenager at the time, and I I I was coming into the living room. It was a little very late at night, and you know I had, most of us had gone to bed already, and I was leaving my room, heading out to uh, go into the kitchen because I was a snacker at night. I always go into the kitchen late at night to like find something to snack on. And I heard my parents, you know, talking and my mom was crying. And I'm like, oh my God, like what's going on? So I, just, I it, it, it stopped me first. So they didn't, they didn't see me. But, and and my dad, I just caught part of what he, anyway, he's saying. He goes, you know, because <laughs> as nice as my dad is, he's also quick to say, I told you so. <laughs> he will. He's not. My father will not not tell you so. <laughs> He'll be like, I told you so. I told you not to do that. I told you not to do that. Right? So he, <laughs> I caught the part where he's like, I told you so. Right? And I was like. Like, what? Like, what? what's the thing? And what she said next, she said, she goes, I don't care about everything that I, I, I had to do or the things that I did. But she didn't even have the decency to just call me and wish me happy birthday. She knew today was my birthday. And all of a sudden... As a teenager, I mean, I've seen, I, I've seen the humanity of my parents all the time. But I saw the softness of my mother. Right? And it's not like I haven't seen it again before because as a, as a sickly kid, when you're in and out of hospitals and you see the worry on your mom's face, you know, you, 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 you know, you, you, you see her humanity every day. <laughs> you know, I... I But 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 that whole thing of her toughness, that veneer, somehow just vanished in that moment. I saw the hurt. I saw the gentleness. And I saw the disappointment of my mom just by her saying those words. Because many times they say, don't do things for people expecting anything in return. And my mom has been like that. that that's sort of like my mom's motto, I think. Right? But there's something else I was going to say and I'm not going to say it. Uh, but um, this person knew. It was one thing. My mom, like birthdays, were always kind of because I love I love a birthday because <laughs> our our mom is like you're still alive, yay party, right? You're still alive. People are like I hate my birthdays. Oh my gosh, I hate getting old. I'm like, what's the alternative, right? And that's sort of the attitude we have about birthdays. The rest of the family, except my dad. My dad is like, well, you know, I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, like, you know, right over here, there's this pain that showed up. I'm like, that, shut up. <laughs> oh, you think I'm joking? Wait until you reach my age. There's going to be a pain right over here. <laughs> I'm like that, no, not going to happen. No, no, no. When I reach your age, there's going to be like, let me see. Um, in artificial intelligence is going <laughs> to... Invent something so that pain doesn't exist anymore. Oh boy. Anyways, my point being that I, 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 as much as we may say we have tough skin and, and, and these comments mean nothing to us and that, you know, maybe I get too emotional about things or the other. For me, I see it as there is still, there, there is still, Pain there, there's still hurt there. Because you saw the words, you read it. You might have even said it out loud. So even though we know it's not true, you don't know me. 
You just called me and uh, this or that or whatever else. I'm sorry, you're not sleeping with me. How do you know that? Are you paying my rent, my mortgage? Are you paying for my car? Are you buying me my shoes? Where is the Dom Perignon? Where is it? Are, are, are you buying it for me? No. But when you put your thoughts and your opinions and your this and your that and your stories, it's like being that author. It's like being that artist that is now put in there. They've written this song about the breakup that they had or that they made one mistake and now the world's against them or whatever. And everyone is like, child, bye, right? Or what are you complaining about? You're rich. And I don't think I closed that loop when I said about the mental health and rich people or, or famous people, right? It affects us all. Some people are like, oh, what is she complaining about? But her mental health. Actually, I don't need to give you statistics or anything like 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 that, or or, or need to justify it. Your mental health is your mental health, and it affects us all, all, all of us. So, <clears throat> again, I am trying to be mindful of a slew load of things, and I know many of you will say, Antonio. Antonio, veni qua, bambino. Let me tell you something. Hmm? Do what you love. Put it out there. People like it, they like it. People don't like it. Why am I talking like this? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> this is me with my friends, okay? Um, so, yes. And I, I, I get that. And, and by all the means, I'm putting out material that that is authentically the way I see the world or the way I, I, I have a thought on X, Y, or Z. And I'm not worried about any of that, right? I'm not worried about the content I'm creating, what it will be received with a nay or a no or up or a down or a sideways, right? Of course, we all want the best, right? What I am concerned about, and this is why this hour and <laughs> plus blabber um is i want to vocalize and let you know my intentions what has been my intent some of the circumstances behind them and what has happened or not happening and also to say that i want to be more consistent so the expectation will be we know we can expect these things and we may be able to, right, either adjust our listening pattern with um, Majesty Sussex Report or we are able to be there to support the channel better. And I know that is where a lot of you are coming from. You, um, uh, and I don't have it here. I didn't, I wrote it down on my other note, notepad and I don't have it with me. But uh, the, um, the subscriber you know, saying that we love, we love what you do. We just want to support you better. We just need to be consistent. Even, even if you just do one podcast once a week. Right? One podcast once a week. We all show up and support. Because we know Majesty Says This Report is going to be on a Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern or something. And then we can, you know, we'll... We'll have it there for you and we'll support you. However, do your thing. Did I say I love you, folks? <laughs> I love you for sentimental reasons. Stop singing. Um, so I know that that is the general intention. And I love you folks for that. Right? Because it's not another type of criticism. It's a criticism and a feedback based on we want to do more for you. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So I think I'm going to wrap this up. 
And maybe in my connecting airport in Houston, I'll be like, nope, don't like it, delete. <laughs> but, if, <laughs> but if you're listening to this, I guess I'm in Houston and I just decided <laughs> not to delete. Um, I know a, a few of you actually left some f- quite interesting messages, like some questions about the legality and whether Megan or Archwell can sue or not those domains um, that acquired the, the um, domain uh, from um, their particular uh, uh, ge- geographical location. So from my research, sorry, I'm just answering this question really quickly. So, so from, from my research, and my understanding is that you can't because the person didn't do anything illegal, right? So they purchased the UK, what would be dot UK, um, and they have the domain. Uh, the only thing is that if another person wants that, then they can negotiate with the person that or entity that owns that domain, right? And they can money can be exchanged. Or they can wait for the domain to expire. So sometimes you'll get a domain for two years, sometimes you get it for five, sometimes I think you get it for ten. Like I've, as I said, as an exercise in my in my school, our school was t- teaching us how you get a, get the stuff, and we all had to purchase like domains. So that's why I had like a few. And when they expired, I was like, okay, bye, <laughs> right? Because I had one in my neck day. They told us, they were teaching us that one of the first things, our first domains you should own is, is your name. Because you never know. And um, so anyways, that expired and I was like, I'm not renewing that. But I did have other domains that I've had. So my understanding is that she wouldn't be able to sue for that because they didn't do anything illegal. Now... In regards to um, intent to defraud or intent to confuse, if you take, for example, I'm not giving you the, the, the answer. I'm just also, my research, I didn't, if, if any lawyers know the answers, please leave it in the comment section. So if they take the images, the site, the way it looks, everything, and uses the same thing, then I think there is a case. There's infringement. And you're taking, excuse me, you're taking someone's creative and passing it off as yours. Right? So I think there you have a case and you can take it to court. And it depends on how the courts, like, for things like these, sometimes the court will look at it and say, well, this is not important enough. So the, the, the fines or, or penalty is not very um, large or it's not very consequential. So some people don't care. So, but however... Think about this. If Megan um, Archwell, Prince Harry decide to uh, take this up to, in court, the publicity that it will create for that third party, right? It will be enormous. Enormous. So they also have to weigh whether or not, okay, is this going to dilute our brand? meaning that we had to take it to court and do all these other things. Um, If we go through this legal sort of way and what will be the outcome at the end of the day, when there'll be thousands of articles with misinformation, lies, and all of them negative towards the Sussexes, right? Versus, well, let, let them do whatever they do as long as our business is not 
being um, um, <clears throat> perjudicado. I'm sorry, I've been speaking a lot of Spanish, so <laughs> I think my brain is like switched a little bit. <laughs> uh, so words now I'm like, what's this word again in English? Uh, so it's, it's, it's them having to um, weigh what, 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 what would be the right long-term decision-making. I think many times like businesses will purchase like the, the .uk or the .ca or the .org or .net of the name of their organization. Um, however, sometimes you don't because even if people or an institution or something has that, like in this case, you know, um, American Riviera Orchard, um dot uk even though or or dot or dot ca even though uh they another person or entity owns a domain it will expire right and if they were to do meaning the people who owns this to do things that would be obviously infringing on the in the law um then they 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 may have a stronger case that they would know like they could they could win very easily right because a lot of these things you don't want to drag it out and sometimes also people are looking for publicity in order to have this stuff so that was a question i wanted to or some general that i wanted to address from some of the past podcasts that you folks had asked and the other thing a lot of you have said you know, you feel like this is sin, this is um, sin, sinist, sinist, sinister, sinister, yeah, sinister, uh, and, and I, I, I agree, right? I think. Look, any time there is, there is. Oh, it's not uh, mic microscopic or microscope on the Sussexes. And I mean, it's a huge one. So every move they make, right? There are a whole bunch of people backed by institutions, old and new, right? That are already planning how to, whether that's to create a, 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 a mirroring a, a website to discredit, whether that is um, putting out stories in a tabloid to say, um, well, you know, Megan was 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 abusive to X, Y, or Z. By the way, in my stuff at work, I was accused of something similar to. Um, which one I brought proofs? No one wanted to like look 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 at it, right? And when I asked, what, I, okay. <laughs> I think I'm still angry about all of that. Um, so it, it's we 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 we. What am I trying to say here? We I don't want to say must get used to. We should never normalize any of this stuff. But we should expect. We should expect that anything they do. There will be a whole other, not industry, but a whole other shadow something that will be created. And I say shadow intentionally, right? That will be created. So we just need to continue highlighting these things. Because also, I know I love you folks so much. I know sometimes some of you will say, Oh, Antonio, don't worry about it. We know, we know, we know this stuff and uh, we just have to continue praying. Yeah, I know. I know you know it. I bring it again to us or, or I talk about it so that it stays relevant. Also, if 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 a deranger or, or, or person who's not informed happened to watch some of the podcast, you know, this might be some vaccine for them. It's not going to be the cure, but it might be a little vaccine. So I'll, I'll, I'll say it or bring it to us anyways, right? 
Okay, it's also, we need not to bury this information. We need to always keep it constant. And, 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 and highlight that this is still happening. I was on, <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, folks, this. So on, the, when, on, on my flight, I happened to, I don't know if I can tell you folks this. Uh, what am I, man of mystery? Um, okay, so I, I was seated next to this person who worked for the State Department, right? And it's fascinating, fascinating. Like, 45 minutes into her flight, I stopped myself and I went, hang on a minute. And I looked at her and I said, you know, I don't even know your name. And she, and she smiled. And I said, you know, like, a lot about me. <laughs> because I sat, sat down and I said, hello. I just, what I usually do, um... With a person sitting next to me or people sitting next to me, just say hello. And I, I sat down, said hello back. And then she started the conversation. And, we, and I realized that the way she was asking, I didn't realize this until after. The way she was asking these questions, these follow-up questions to what I was saying to her. In about 45 minutes or so, this woman knew my entire life. Or most of my life. And I barely knew anything about her. And I was like. Holy cow. And that is when I found out. She works for the state department. And I was like. Oh you work for the state. She goes yeah I work for the state department. I'm like so what do you do in the state department. She goes uh, I work there. And I went. Uh huh. Uh huh. You've been tricky here. I'm like let me find another way to ask you that question. And so at the State Department, do you push papers? Do you not push papers? Do you, I'm just, I was trying to be funny. Um, anyway, she, she, she did. She did laugh. She goes, Antonio, I'm not. <laughs> um, I said, so am I allowed to ask you more questions? <laughs> she goes, so Guatemala. <laughs> Where in Guatemala will you be? I was like, damn. But anyways, she was, she was fantastic. Um, but her... I was telling her a little bit because I brought up an example of something that I was talking to her about organizations and, you know, the, the monarchy and uh, the firm came up and she was like, she just rolled her eyes. She goes, oh, God, don't get started with them. <laughs> I said, I said, oh, so, 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 OK, I got it. I've got an in here. I said, listen, listen, listen. So I said, before I go any further in this conversation. I need to ask you a question. You have to answer it. I said, I need to know. Prince Harry. She goes, love him. I go, okay, that's one check mark. I said, the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle. Princess Meghan Markle. I say that. What's her response? She goes, I love her. I love her. And that woman has such strength. And I went, okay, you, you just became a better seatmate. I love you too. And, uh, so we didn't speak a lot about, about that, uh, but uh, it, was, it was really nice. Uh, but certain things, because then I got a new topic to talk to her about, certain things um, she, she thought, you know, one way. And I was like, no, 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 no. That's not what happened, Lady State Department. I was like, let me tell you what really happened. So this is the information they put out. That was false. So they did that because of this. And she goes, she goes, I see you're really passionate about this. She goes, you know, you should, you should do like a podcast or something. <laughs> and I said, I should. I said, you know what? I think, I think I'll give it some thought. I said, yeah, I have all this information. Because the last one I was going to tell her, I said, yes, I have a podcast. Because um, she already knew too much about me. But anyways. So we continue to, um, to do that. And I will continue to bring you what I do here. Uh, I hope you've been entertained a little bit. <laughs> this hour plus 
I love you folks. I, I, I do this with the utmost consideration of all of you. And I appreciate your feedback and your encouragement and all of that. And this little choo-choo train keeps moving forward um, with everything that we're learning along the way. This has always been for me an adventure that I said at the very start that we are going to be on together, right? And I feel the responsibility, even though some of you are so gracious and and, and kind um, to, to jump up and say, Antonio, no, you don't need to explain anything, but but for me, I, I have the utmost respect for all of you and for your time and for the support, the trust and all of that stuff that you place in the channel and you place in, in me. And I want to always honor that and always respect it. The day I don't do those things is the day I will just turn the lights off and not do or say another word um, on this podcast. So I knew that I owed all of you um, a little bit of an explanation and and also more of an explanation sort of like bring you bring you to where I am presently. There, There's more there. For example, you know, I no longer work at the place that I, I used to work at um, uh, two months ago. And um, that has been quite challenging and, and uh, shocking. I recently, and I'm only saying a little time, time bit, I signed my the papers of whatever. I after consulting with with um, um, the lawyers, and the lawyers, you know, had me wait for a little bit. They came back with a couple of things and asked me if I was willing, and I I really wasn't. Um, money is never, and it's never been my, and, and I'm not speaking from a place of privilege at all. Uh, I'm, I'm speaking as, as a, from a place of my physical and mental health. Um, money or an extra or whatever is not going to give me that peace of mind and put my mental health in a place that, um, where it feels um, flourishing, you know? So I said to the lawyers when they asked me, they said, what do you, actually I can't say that now, I have to wait. Um, I, I just, I just, anyways, my answer was was, 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 was was no. They gave me an extra kind of couple of days to, to reflect and to go back to them with any questions I may have of the process. And I did that and then went back again and said, I just want this over with. Um, so that is that. I want you to all know that um, this is where I'm at. And moving forward, um, the intention is to have mindful meditation, our playlist, our music playlist, um, <clears throat> to have sort of, if I'm working on a particular topic, maybe put it in the community and say, hey, I'm working on this topic. I'm looking to bring it to you next week or something. So, you know, have you know what's happening and be consistent in um, when uh, the, 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 the episodes go up um, live. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the wonderful Maya Angelou. We say thank you. We say thank you because it's what we say to God. So I say thank you. Uh, you have, you're extraordinary. Okay, mis amores, my loves, my, 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 my beautiful people. I don't want to go. I feel like I'm having separation anxiety. <laughs> I spilled my guts to all of you. Now I'm having separation anxiety. No. Okay. Goodbye. Talk to you folks later. Until we speak again. <laughs>